friends, we are back in the kitchen for another what I eat in a day, but it's also gonna be a what I do in a day as well. So I'm gonna be making oatmeal, of course. I have it every single morning. I love it so much. I'm not gonna change it up. So let's get right to it. Real quick, what I like to start with first, so I weigh out 48 grams of old fashioned rolled oats. I do um, 16 grams of fit peanut butter powder. I do one tablespoon of chia seeds, as well as hemp hearts, good source of protein, omegas, all that good stuff. Um, then we do eight ounces of almond milk, some Walden Farm syrup, because it's zero calorie, right up my alley. Um, and then we got our spices with vanilla and nutmeg. All right, so just throw this on the stove. Um, I cook it on really low and I just wait for it to get nice and creamy, but we got to get these apples cut. So we're going to try another transition this time just with the cinnamon. Bam. All right, so I have these apples that I have from yesterday. So I use about a half an apple for this recipe. Um, so it lasts a little longer and a half an apple is about the perfect serving size. So I just cut it up into little tiny pieces. I put it in here, sprinkle it with some cinnamon, sprinkle it with a little bit of water. And then I, again, on low, um, bake these. It's not baking, <laughs> make them softer. that much all right while the coffee brews we're gonna cut up the rest of the veggies I've been obsessed with these little tiny baby bananas they're so cute and so tasty and we're gonna cut up some strawberries as well get them white out and then have ourselves a delicious breakfast so what I normally like to do when I have my scale and everything I'll just write the number down real quick so 87 grams of strawberries and then bananas are gonna be 46. I almost forgot the most important part. So almonds. These are the honey roasted almonds from Trader Joe's and I am obsessed with these. We do anywhere from 10 to 12 grams. Depends on the day. <laughs> Honestly. Bon apple teeth. It looks so good. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to eat this. So for my coffee, I obviously pour my coffee up. Um, I use about a spoonful of this monk fruit sweetener, zero calories, right up my alley. Again, sugar-free, zero calories. Um, sweetener, I got this from World Market. They have every flavor under the sun there. So highly recommend you guys check that store out. This one's just brown sugar and cinnamon. And then I do a splash of Khalifa Farms unsweetened almond milk because this almond milk is the best tasting almond milk on the market. It's so creamy and smooth and tasty. I love it in my coffee. Mm-hmm. 
taste it. All right, so we have our oatmeal with the apples, strawberries, bananas, and almonds sprinkled on. So good. Oh my gosh. And then our coffee. The perfect breakfast. Coffee is so good. So it's um it's this Stroop waffle coffee again from World Market. It's a great store. Highly recommend you guys check it out. Hopefully this is not as hot as the surface of the sun. It's just a big bowl of happiness. The fruit is amazing. The almonds give it a little crunch. The oatmeal, 11 on 10. Never disappointed. That's one thing about living with a golden retriever. Everything is covered in dog hair. Everything. play club comment down below if you're part of clean clean if i can talk this morning comment down below if you're a part of one more time comment down below if you're part of the clean plate club try saying that 10 times fast anyways today is glutes and hamstrings um and we will be working out outside so i'll, I'll show you guys just a little bit of that and then we have lunch slash dinner with my grandparents later so i'm really looking forward to that but i will see you guys at the gym before we start getting ready for the gym of course i have to take my vitamins as you know i take a multivitamin i take um artichoke extract iron d3 and then my um vegan omegas which are extremely important if you are on a vegan diet um as well as b12 and then my creatine. So I'm gonna take all of those and then I'll see you guys at the gym. back from the gym we had a nice glute and hamstring workout feeling really good i'm starving so we're gonna make the same lunch that i usually always make it's, uh buffalo tempeh broccoli and then i have some leftover sweet potatoes in the fridge that i'm gonna eat also want to do like a super easy meal because we are going up to my grandparents house later um and gonna be doing a lot of cooking up there so i just wanted to keep this meal super simple More broccoli than last time. I am obsessed with broccoli. It tastes so good. <laughs> oh. 
all of this is for me. All of it. All right, next we gotta get this buffalo tempeh cut. Um, I do, of course you guys already know, I'm half serving, so I do half now and then I'm probably gonna eat it tomorrow for lunch because this is like my favorite go-to meal. Just that simple. And then you put it on the skillet. This plate looks amazing. We got the sweet potatoes, we got the huge mound of broccoli with, I put some nooch on it, and then we got our buffalo sundae. But before I forget it, hopefully that's right, red hot. I need a new bottle of this, it's almost empty. Broccoli and nooch gives you just that little bit of cheesy flavor. Oh, it's so good and there's quite a bit of protein in it. One tablespoon has three grams of protein, only 20 calories, not too bad. satisfied we have to get ready um as well as go to the grocery store before we head to my grandparents house to make um dinner with them we're going over there because they're moving soon uh to colorado super exciting so just want to see them like one last time before they leave but i will see you guys when we're headed to my grandparents house we are heading to Sprouts right now. We gotta pick up some groceries for dinner tonight. We are making the Buddha bowl for my grandparents. Super fresh, super tasty. Um, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to it. So we forgot to do an unboxing. We got really excited, but my skates finally came in. They're so cute. So we are going to go outside and we're gonna skate around for a little bit. It just got really dark, so this should be fun, but you know, we're still gonna do it. Barely, Barely. but we can see you. Okay. Get it. Like riding a bike. Watch me fall on my face. I hope not. Oh, they're fun. Oh my gosh. I love them. Yay. Get it, girl. Ooh, with that turn. Hit him with the turn. And then hit him with the circle. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I can record and skate yet. Oh, definitely not. Oh, Let's go. get it. I got that turn yeah, you do. <laughs> okay, so capping off the night, obviously, with my protein ice cream. I just got to put my ghost vegan protein in there. I got my Fit peanut butter powder, Hershey's chocolates. I'm going to do a little bit of cereal again because it was so good with some chocolate chips. Um, I'm pretty low on my calories, so we're probably gonna have to end up eating another snack after this, but that's okay. We got this. Don't worry.
All right, so we're chilling here watching The Crown, which is a really good show. You guys should definitely check it out. And <clears throat> I'm definitely going to try these. So my friend Chantelle and I were supposed to try these on Friday um, for the video coming out tomorrow, obviously. But um, she had some car issues, no big deal. So we're going to do that on Monday. But um, I want to have this in the meantime. I have had the sriracha one, obviously. Um, and I've also had the barbecue one. So this would be the third one that I'm having. And then I'm saving the rest for Monday. I just, I can't help myself. This is the buffalo wing, uh, bada bean, bada boom snack. Mm. has like a little spice to it oh my gosh like a little kick mm. oh my gosh it tastes just like my tempeh I like these ones these ones are tasty well <clears throat> excuse me I'm gonna finish my snacks Keep watching The Crown and I will see you for more calories here in probably an hour. Last thing of the night, I have a cinnamon raisin toast with chocolate, PB2, strawberries and bananas. I'm gonna enjoy this with some fruit and that's gonna be it.